is poly in the middle of spring. Cigarettes After Sex. The song is called Sweet, coming at you live from Marin Music Center. People of the world, friends and relatives, standard tuning. First, I'm going to show you how the guy plays it, and then I'm going to show you the easy way to play it for all you people who like it. Short and squeezy. All right. Guys, the, the very beginning, it's just bass. And the bass is going like this. It's going... All that is, is it's two on the top string twice, then four on the top string twice, then two on the second string from the top twice, and then four on the second string from the top twice. You can just play that on guitar and it's fine. It goes like... If you want a little extra pizzazz in it, what you could do is make those into little power chords. So you play two on the top string, four on the second string from the top. And then I like to palm mute it and I go. Then you just take your hands, you move it one, two frets up. So now you're on four and six, palm mute that low power chord. Then go to two on the second string from the top and four on the third string from the top. Same thing. Then you move that one, two frets up, play four on the second string from the top and six on the third string from the top. guys. You just do that four times and that's the verse. Let's go ahead and do it twice right now, just for some practice. One, two, three, boom. That's right. My delay is going a little crazy. I got a lot of reverb on here, guys. That's something I should tell you. Is for every single Cigarettes After Sex song, Cass, C-A-S. Do people say Cass? K's, queso, cheese. Do people ever call him cheese? Sorry, I don't know. I'm just in that kind of mood. So, uh, you got guys, you want some hall reverb, crank up that reverb, and then you want some delay. A, you want like repeated delay, not one delay, not where it goes whap, whap. You want it to go whap, 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 whap. That's how you do it. All right, so that's great. So that's the verse to the song. Then we get to the chorus. This is where the guitar actually starts playing and he does the weirdest chords, you guys. You have to smash down on two of all six strings with your pointer finger. Your middle finger plays three on the third string from the bottom. Ring finger plays four on the second string from the top. Pinky plays four on the third string from the top. This one isn't weird. This is just an F sharp bar chord. By the way, FYI, TMI, Want to get better at bar chords? To play this song, you better be hecka good at bar chords, and I have just the ticket to get you there. MarinMusic.com. Link in the description. There is a whole entire free bar chord video course packed full of jam for your bar chord helpfulness. All right, done with that. Moving on now to this F sharp chord. What you're gonna do? What he does? I. I don't think he follows an exact picking pattern. I think it's an approximate picking pattern. For each chord, he pretty much plays one of the top couple strings. Then there's a little pause. Then he plays a string in the middle. Then he plays a string right below that one. Then he goes back down to the middle or some, then he goes to a lower note again. And then he goes to a high note, one of the bottom strings. And then he does the middle two strings again. That was very confusing. Let's see, it goes like. See what I did there? So for the F sharp, what I'm doing that works great is I go top string, then third from the top, third from the bottom, back to third from the top. Then I play the bottom string, and then I play third from the top, and then third from the bottom. That's like your basic template that you want to do for every chord, but you don't have to hit those specific strings is what I'm trying to say. Let's practice that together on this F sharp major bar chord. And it's okay if we're not playing the exact same strings, as long as we have the same rhythm and the same sort of shape to what we're playing. Let's try it. One, two, nice and slow and boom. more times. I think you did great. So you're going to do that twice on this F sharp bar chord. Then take this F sharp bar chord, move it one, 
two frets over. So now your pointer finger's on four of all six strings, ring finger's on six of the second from the top, pinky's on six of the third string from the top, but then get rid of your middle finger and actually take your middle finger and smash down on your pointer finger to help it push down on those strings. And then do the same picking. We go. Oh, you see that? I played a slightly different note that time and it sounded great. Don't worry about it too much. This is a G sharp minor. So we have two times on F major, two times on G sharp minor. Then we're gonna go to a B, but the way he plays the B is not a way that I have typically seen it done. And I have to say, I kind of like it, you guys. Ring finger mashes down on four of the bottom four strings. Yeah, you heard me. Ring finger flattens out, mashes down on the fourth fret. Then middle finger mutes the top two strings. And it's just those two fingers and we're going. For this one, we're just gonna do the picking pattern one time. We just go boom. Then we go to a, this is a B, I already said that, it's a B. Then we go to a very peculiar C sharp, peculiar. How do you say that word? Peculiar, et cetera, especially the specific ocean. Guys, the C sharp chord is like this. Your pointer finger is gonna bar the first fret. You can bar all six strings if you want. I don't do that. I just bar the bottom four strings on the first fret and then I'm just really careful not to play the top strings. Then middle finger plays two on the second string from the bottom. Ring finger plays three on the third string from the top. We do one time through the picking on this chord. <laughs> And then we start over again, guys. So here's what we just did. We did F sharp, then, then I got mixed up. Oh, then we went to G sharp minor. Then we just did one time on the B and one time on this weird C sharp. We do that whole thing twice through, and then we do two more times on the picking pattern on the F sharp. That was, I, I didn't say that in the most concise, clear way, but I'll tell you what, let's play the whole chorus together. One, two, all the way. <clears throat> to the song, you guys. Then you go to the second verse, which is exactly the same as the first verse. It's just bass, but we're doing that power chord thing. Then you go to the second chorus of the song, exactly the same as the first chorus, literally exactly the same. Then we go to the first little like guitar solo interlude thing, which is a little bit more complicated. Let's get into it. The guitar solo interlude thing is very similar to the chorus to the song, but it's got a couple little embellishments in it, you guys. So we have the F sharp major bar chord. You're gonna do a nice gentle strum. You go like that, where we kind of hear each string because you slowly rake your pick across the strings. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your pinky down to four of the bottom string and move your ring finger to four of the third string from the top. So we went from here to here. So we do strum and then as you're moving your fingers, you're gonna play the third string from the bottom and then play the bottom string where we just put our pinky on four. So that's strum, three, four, then you have to bring your pointer finger back to the first fret on the bottom string and get your pinky out of there. Then you're gonna play three on the third string from the bottom again, and your pointer finger goes back to barring on the second fret. So here's what we just did. We went strum, three, bottom, one, three, two. It's hard to talk and play it at the same time. Let's do it one more time. One, two, here we go. And see that right there? Keep your fingers in this position. 
play the third string from the top, then play the second string from the bottom, and then the third string from the bottom. So that whole F sharp part was strum and four, one, two. Okay, we're doing great. Now you go to the G sharp minor bar chord, exactly like in the chorus. We go strum, then you're gonna play second string from the bottom, then the bottom string, then second string from the bottom, then third string from the bottom. Then take your pinky and move it to the seventh fret of the second string from the bottom and play that. Then there's a tiny little pause and then you play bottom string, second from the bottom. So that part is, a, I think the G sharp minor part is a little easier than the F sharp part. The G sharp minor part goes like this all the way through. Two, three, four. Then we go to our B chord, but we don't get to do our regular fingering for B. What you're gonna do is put pointer finger on two of the bottom string, ring finger on four of the second from the bottom, middle finger on four of the third string from the bottom, strum the bottom three strings, then play third string from the bottom, and then with your pinky, play four on the bottom string. Then get rid of your pinky and play the bottom string on the second fret. So that was strum, four, four, two. One, two, play with me. Strum for pinky two. Then we go to our C sharp exactly like we did before. You do a strum of the bottom four strings. Then your pointer finger scooches up to the second fret and you play the bottom string. Then your pointer finger goes right back to the first fret and you play like that. So that was one, two, here we go. Then you go back to the F sharp major bar chord and just do one gentle strum. Guys, that was the guitar solo. Quite challenging, I believe. Let's try playing it all the way through. Let's see if we can do it. Two, three, four. practice a song for a couple more days if we're being perfectly honest all right so that was a little interlude guitar solo thing then we go into the bridge the bridge is guys it's almost exactly the same as the chorus the only difference is we tack on an extra little f sharp at the end so here's what you do you just play the chorus once you go everything's exactly the same as the chorus F sharp, but then we play the F sharp again, and then we're starting the whole thing over. G sharp. So here's what I'm trying to say. The chorus went F sharp, G sharp minor, B, C sharp, then it starts over, F sharp, G sharp minor, blah, blah, blah. This bridge goes F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, F sharp, and then it starts over with another F sharp. I didn't, I, guys, forget it, never mind, moving on, whatever. It's great, it's fine, you're doing a great job. Then you go to the chorus, the third chorus, exactly the same as the first chorus and the second chorus. Literally nothing is different. But then we get to the ending, which is another little guitar solo, guys. The ending goes like this. It's, it starts off exactly like the other little guitar solo. You go. That was the same. So everything on the F sharp, exactly the same. You go to the G sharp minor, and this is the part that's a little different. So get your G sharp minor chord all ready to go. Pointer fingers barring all six strings on the fourth fret, ring fingers on six of the third from the top, pinkies on six of the third from the top. Eh, whatever, it looks like this. I said something wrong there. You're gonna play the top string, then immediately, not immediately, eh, Shortly afterwards, you play the third string from the top, then play the third string from the bottom, then play second string from the bottom, then back to third string from the bottom. 
as you play that third string from the bottom at the end, lift up your pinky. So this is what we have. We have top, funky, bingo. See how I got my pinky out of there? I'm getting my pinky ready because the next note is going to be six on the second string from the bottom with your pinky. And then immediately after that, move your pinky up to seven and play the second string from the bottom. So we just went bum, bum, bing, 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 bang. You're doing great. Back up to the top string, then a tiny little pause. Keep your pinky on seven, play the bottom string, then play the second string from the bottom, then play the third string from the bottom. So that whole G sharp minor part was Guys, play it with me. One, two, three, four. That was pretty good. That was pretty okay. That was fine. Um, and then the rest of the little solo thing is exactly the same as the first solo we did. And you do that whole entire thing twice. Does that make sense? Let's, okay, fine. Let's do a whole entire ending solo once together. One, two, nice and slow. sharp. So I'm not sure if you noticed, but I kind of did a really sloppy job of that, but I'm going to spin it and rationalize it and tell you it was on purpose because it still kind of sounded okay, even though I did not play what I meant to play. Sort of, right? Kind of. I'm encouraging you to make mistakes. Guys, we learn from our mistakes. So you could take this opportunity to learn something about yourself on this day. All right. So I told you I'd show you the easy version. So he, I don't remember his name. I, I'm going to call him Beardy Mick boots man um so he plays he likes doing like weird bar chords on his parker fly guitar guys those were all the rage in like 1995 i wanted a parker fly and now i think he has the only one that's still left in existence it's the type of guitar he plays so uh if if you tune down a half step or if you're just willing to play the song one half step off from where he plays it you can just play some easy chords, guys. You can play a G chord, and you can then an A minor, and then a C, and then a D, and you can get the same effect. Watch this, watch this, watch. Um, so we go, uh, um, exactly the same but that's way easier right but I will say you can't really do his whole like solo thing I, what I'm trying to say is if you just want to like strum some chords and sing this song to your crush although actually the words are a little uh the words are a little creepy there I like I mean if if there's like a mutual feeling of of uh, attraction and um affection then I would say that it's less creepy but if you don't know the person well Watch out, the lyrics are a little intense, you guys. But what I'm trying to say is, if you just want to be able to strum the chords and sing it, just you can just do G, A minor, C, and D. If you want to learn those chords, look in a book, okay? Um, I wipe my hands of this whole situation. 